In the Old West, Doc Holliday was a legendary gunslinger. You remember he fought in the shootout at the OK Corral. He was deputized as a U.S. Marshal by Wyatt Earp. In December of 2009, another Doc Holliday was named the head coach at Marshall. Doc takes over a team that went 7-6 and six last season and faces a very tough test tomorrow when they open at number two Ohio State. And we're joined now by Doc Holliday. Coach, thanks for coming on with us. We have to start with the, uh, with the name. How, how did that happen? Well, you know, Jay, as back, I, of course, I played at West Virginia years ago, and a guy by the name of Joe Pender, who's now the offensive line coach for Nick at Alabama, uh, was there and uh, he didn't really he didn't know my name so he started calling me Doc and it stuck <laughs> and uh, I gotta give I gotta give Joe credit for that. Well, it works, especially where you are now at Marshall. The original Doc Holiday was was deputized as a U.S. Marshal and now you, you get the head coaching job there. Any coincidence? Irony? What are, What are your thoughts on that? No, no coincidence at all. You know, I just uh, you know I've been I grew up 20 minutes from Marshall and this has been a great job. I knew all along. You know, this was a winning team in college football in the 90s under Pruitt and Jim Donnan and. Won a bunch of championships, and uh, you know I knew it was a great job. Uh, you know when I took it, and from you know for the last seven months, it's even a greater job than I thought it was. The sport, the passion they have for football here is unbelievable, and we're looking forward to going to Ohio State and uh, giving everybody an opportunity to see our program. Well, let's talk a little bit about your team and that game. Uh, it, it is a very difficult way to start a season, but hey, you know it, it's it's certainly going to get easier after that. What what have you told your team about what they should expect going to the horseshoe and taking on the second ranked team in the country? Well, you know, no, you know, Ohio State's a great football team, and you know, everywhere I've been at Florida and C State, whenever we won championships, you know, it starts with a quarterback, and you know, Terrell Pryor's got a great shot at winning the Heisman. He's a great quarterback. I think in the years past, he's been able to beat you with his feet, but now he can also beat you with your, with, his, with, your, with his arm, which he showed in the Rose Bowl against Oregon. And he's a mature guy that's grown up, and uh, whoever plays him, he's going to create issues for us. So our defense has a great challenge, but uh, you know, I told our team, look, we're going to win, or we're going to play as hard as we can for 60 minutes. We'll look up at the end of the game, take a peek at scoreboard and see what happens but our guys are prepared and we're ready to go well coach we know upsets happen particularly in the early weeks of the college football season what would pulling a stunner against ohio state do for your program Oh, there's no question. The kind of exposure it would bring to our program would be, you know, you just can't you can't buy that type of exposure. Of course, you get on national TV and be in there and that type of thing. But, you know, we've won a lot of games here in the past with Randy Moss and Chad Pennington and Byron Leffridge. They've been in games like this before. They went and beat Clemson at Clemson. They beat South Carolina at South Carolina. And, you know, there's been a lot of big games. been won around here in the past. So, uh, you know, we're expected to win here. You know, I told our team when I took the job, I said it's inexcusable to lose a game at Marshall. And uh, we're going there, to, you know, any game we go into, we're going in to win it. All right, very very good. Earlier this year, the website BleacherReport.com called you one of the top ten coaching personalities in all of college football. What do you make of that honor, Coach? No, oh, I don't know a whole lot about that. I, maybe at the end of the year, I may not be there. But with that being said, I guess <laughs> who, who knows? I, I don't take a whole. You know, it's. I guess that's great, but it doesn't mean a whole lot to me right now. All right. Well, Coach, thanks so much for coming on with us, and uh, good luck to you tomorrow night and the rest of the two, 2010 season at Marshall. Well, thanks. You'll have a great day and a great weekend.